Hi guys, welcome to this series of videos in which we are going to explain everything about physics. Okay, so in this case, the first video that we are going to see is the definition of scalar and vectors. But before we do that, well, we need to define what physical quantities are. So in, in a little words, physical quantity is everything that can be measured. Everything that can be measured. That can be measured. And I'm talking about um, things that exist in our physical world. So, for example, I'm going to make a list of those things that can be measured. And if they can be measured, that means that we have a, a, a unit for it. For example, we have uh, the temperature. We can measure the temperature. Also, we have mass. We have time. We have distance. We have speed and also acceleration. Remember, these are physical quantities because they can be measured. Uh, we can uh, mention more, for example, uh, force, the weight, um, okay. So this is just an example of those physical quantities. And as I said before, if, if this thing, if this physical quantity can be measured, so that means that is going to have a unit of measure. So for example, the units for temperature could be uh, Celsius degrees, Fahrenheit degrees, or Kelvin degrees. The units for mass could be grams, or kilograms and for example another uh, of the English system like pounds or something like that and the units for time it could be seconds uh, minutes hours days and so on and so on and so on and so on the units for distance could be meters uh, kilometers miles and so on the units for speed meters per second kilometers per hour, and so on. Acceleration meters per second square. Uh, the units for force are newtons, and the units for weight are also newtons. Um, this little list uh, that I did with the units is just an example to show you that every physical quantity must have their units. I'm not talking about that you need to uh, memorize all the units. I mean, I, it's just to show that, that if there is a physical quantity, so it's going to be measured and also it's going to have units. Okay, so another thing, well, yes, another important thing. These physical quantities, they can be divided into two types or two kinds. They are the scalar, scalar quantities, and vector quantities. Vector. Now, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it a little bit further because I'm gonna write a little bit more. So uh, yes, I'm gonna write it here. So as I said before, physical quantities can be divided in these two kinds. Now, what is the difference between these two? Well, very easy. The scalars, the physical quantities, they just have magnitude. Magnitude. In order to define them, there is only the magnitude in order to define them. And the vector or vectors, well, they need a magnitude magnitude and also they need a 
direction and direction. If we don't provide the direction, that means that we are just defining a, a, a scalar quantity. So remember, remember, if we just say the magnitude, that's a scalar. If we say vector, that's a magnitude. Um, we need the magnitude and direction. So I'm going to make a list of all the physical quantities that, for example, that we mentioned before. I'm going to divide them into here in scalar or vector. So for example, one physical quantity that is a scalar, so that means that it just need a number. Um, it doesn't need a direction. For example, uh, what's the temperature today or right now? Well, right now the temperature uh, that is recording right now is um, 30 Celsius degrees. So temperature, I'm not saying 30 Celsius degrees, north or east or south or, or at 60 degrees um, do you understand that uh, and I don't know am I uh, there is only the magnitude so that means that I'm going to write here temperature temperature because the only thing that needs to understand this uh, is just needs the magnitude it doesn't need a direction also mass time uh, speed distance uh, what else what else uh, for example there is also volume the units of volume also the density we just need a magnitude in order to uh, work with these physical quantities okay so what about vectors okay the first uh, physical quantity that I'm going to write is the displacement displacement so for example if a person walks um, I don't know it's going to make a, a journey or a travel and you ask okay what well, was the displacement of that person okay that person uh, travel 100 meters north okay you are telling that 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 person uh, walked 100 meters and also you are providing the direction so for example these two they are related If you are just saying the magnitude, uh, the 100 meters, the magnitude of the displacement is the distance. But when you are providing the direction, that uh, is going to become a vector. So remember that the distance is the magnitude. But if you provide the direction also, that uh, distance is going to become a vector and it's going to be called displacement. Also, it happens the same thing with velocity. Velocity. And that car is moving 100 kilometers per hour north. Okay, you are providing the magnitude and also the direction. Uh, so, yes, these two are related. Okay, so the speed is the magnitude and the velocity. Uh, is the vector the velocity remember that you're going to provide also the uh, the direction or the angle so we are going to work with also with acceleration force and uh, for example weight and and I guess well these are the main vectors that we are going to use in in this course i mean there are there are a lot of a lot more but in this video what what is the main point about this video okay there are physical quantities physical quantities is every are everything are anything that can be measured if it's can if if it can be measured they're gonna have units and those physical quantities, they're going to be divided into scalar and vectors. 
scalar they just they only have magnitude and vector they only have well they have the magnitude and the direction okay guys uh, I hope uh, you understood the purpose of this video and stay tuned because I'm gonna I'm gonna have more videos ahead okay take care bye